makes sense. And I have heard about goji berry. Have you? I mean, it's like. It's pretty popular, it's isn't it? It's a superfood. Yeah, super, su and super food. And now we can food. grow it ourselves. Life berries, they call them, vitamin plants. Uh, there's all kinds of different words for so it. So this is a goji berry. These are the, this is your bounty that you're gonna get. And these are some that, I, I purchased these. Um, they, they came from like a Whole Food kind of store, uh -huh. one of those type of things. And they're very expensive. Tastes but they're like a really raisin good almost. for They are. They're, it's kind of like a raisin. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of flavor. You see how they grow on the plant. And so what has been all the buzz about mm. the goji berries? Okay, first of all, antioxidants. Okay. High in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. They say they boost your immune system. Mm -hmm. They say they're great for your skin and your eyes. Oh. Um, there's detoxing that's really, really popular also. Mm -hmm. Detoxing the liver and things like that. This is good for that also. There's so many health benefits to this, it's nuts. Mm -hmm. So it really is the superfood. Well, now you're actually able to grow your own mm -hmm. goji berries. And pick, pick them fresh instead of buying them like I had to do here. Right, kind of, <laughs> yeah, and they're dehydrated. Very expensive, yeah. but eat them fresh. And you can put them in when you're baking goods. You can put them in like with your yogurts, your cereals. Oh, that's a good um, idea. Or just eat them plain because they, they, don't, ta they don't really taste much at all. Mm -hmm. Now, this is available for at a sale price of $17.92. And with free shipping and handling, this ships now, so you'll have these already established plants. And so when will we start to yield some fruit? Well, you're gonna- Some goji berries. August, they'll start to bloom, uh, start to bloom the okay. purple flowers, and then, then when the flower falls off, you'll start to get fruit through October. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. All right, so as far as what are we gonna see, receive, I'm looking at the ship to shown. So yes. we're getting three plants. Right, you're gonna get three plants. Um, it's kind of a, a shrubby kind of a plant. Okay. Um, you, you can let it trail, or if you give it some support, it'll grow upright. Mm -hmm. um, I like it upright, that way I can pick the berries better, easier. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see a picture here in, how it uh, in, the, in the garden as a shrubby kind of a plant. Well, what is your recommendation? Should we do it right in the ground? Do you prefer it in a pot? Well, or? I like in the ground because I don't have to care for it. They take temperatures down to 25 degrees below zero. Okay. So most of the country, you can just stick this in the ground and leave it, let it go. Okay. And this, um, that goji berry, that super fruit that you've been mm -hmm. hearing about, like I would see myself like popping this into my smoothies. Oh, yeah. I'd make a lot there of smoothies. There you go. So and they're so good for you. There, mm -hmm. There's more iron in goji berries than there is in spinach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and the and spinach we know. Th I mean, I mean that's, that, spinach, Popeye made it popular. <laughs> <laughs> for a reason, but, yeah. Uh, the other thing was the protein in wheat. Okay. More protein in a goji berry, in a goji berry than wheat. Yeah. So, I mean, boost your immune system, get those antioxidants, um, skin, eyes, they claim all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of longevity story, folklore things out there about, goji. uh, about gojis. They say that the monks lived hundreds of years on in, because of their special water. And they said, well, it was because the goji berry bush was dropping into the well. So, whatever. I, don't, I think it's kind of fun. Well, but, I mean, but, there, but when it's all said and done, the research has been done on goji berries. Yeah. Yes, goji berries. And Very now you them. know the source of your goji berries. You, you're growing them. No you pesticides the, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Because, you know, whoever else grows those, you don't know what they spray. That's why I like to grow my, my own, own stuff. And that's why I love Roberta's, because you bring us unique plants. Where else have you been seeing goji berry plants being offered? No way. Not at my big box store. Yeah, no, no. no. So this is why we come to Roberta's. They bring us these really unique collections, hard to find plants. If you've even said to yourself, can you grow goji berry? I wonder, where do I get seeds? Well here, we're not sending you seeds. We're sending you established plants that will bloom this August. You'll have some goji berry. I want, I'm, just like any fruit, I'm wondering, can we probably freeze goji berry? Oh sure, mm -hmm. yes you can. Yeah, you can dry them, you can freeze them, you mm -hmm. can eat them as they are. Um, and, and this is what it looks like when it's growing. I even like how the it, red berries pretty. are pretty. Yeah. yeah, it's a very pretty plant. Um, it's got a nice habit to it. You can mm -hmm. train it to go up, upright, or you can let it trail That's like just that. Freeze. That's yeah, trailing, okay. yes, uh-huh. And and they really produce a lot. You, you know, you get a lot of, of berries. Yield. And you're getting three plants. Mm. You know, each plant's gonna produce quite a bit, so you're not gonna have to buy these anymore. You're gonna save a lot of money, and you're gonna be eating healthy.
Well, it's your goji berry, that super food, that super fruit. You've mm. probably seen it on some of the talk shows. You may have read about it. You may have seen this in your grocery store. Um, it's infused in lots of different fruit drinks and whatnot yeah, now. They do a lot mm -hmm. of drinks with it. You, yeah. can, you can do that yourself and infuse it with the water and make teas and things like with that. Goji. Well, mm -hmm. yep, goji berry tea, mm -hmm. yes. And now, again, you're the source. You are making and growing your own goji berries. Um, so this is how it arrives. Yeah, three different plants, mm -hmm. uh, very well established. Uh, you should get some fruit the first year. Okay. And the second year you get the big bounty. All right, very good. So let's take one last look. M43093, here's your goji berry. Nice, super fresh. Food. Yeah, they call them life berries, um, super fruits, mm -hmm. um, vitamin plant. <laughs> There's all kinds of different names for it, yeah. But it is the goji berry. And if you've never tasted it before, mm -hmm. it really reminds me a bit of a raisin, but not as strong of a taste. It's very mm -hmm. subtle. Yeah, it's not um, much flavor. And so this is not something that you're, you know, it's, it's, some of the good stuff isn't always that tasty. This <laughs> is one where it's like, I could eat yeah, this Yeah, I, I can sit there yeah. and mm -hmm. munch on If I know they're good for me. Well, even when I know they're good for me, Eric, yeah. sometimes, I don't, sometimes. This, this one, is, it's not bad taste at all. All right, hey, still to come, I mentioned we had an ice plant collection coming up. Take a look, look at the color, Ooh, look at the beauty. Fire spinner there. Nine pieces. Yes. On sale for $26.12. Oh, is this near like an ocean? It oh, is. It looks so pretty. They're native to South Africa, that variety. Ah. Mm -hmm. Did you get to travel there? <laughs> no, I'm going uh, this October though. For work or just for play? I, it's always work. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, 